All right, so the first card we have for you is turning in. How beautiful. Turning in, guys. You guys are going to be going in this month. Um, a lot of you might be meditating. A lot of you a lot of you guys are going to be getting messages out of nowhere. Um, messages, when I say messages, I mean signs, symbols, um, synchronicities, uh, answers just popping in your head. Um uh, awarenesses that you are coming clarity um you may even be feeling if you guys feel energies you may be feeling um you know your angels around you um but a lot of you guys if you don't feel that a lot of you guys are just going to be meditating you're going to be actually taking time quiet time whatever the however that is for you taurus um believe it or not i know some people that that clean their house and that's where they meditate they actually clean their home and when they clean their home, they go into a trance state of meditation. And in that, that's where they're get, they get a lot of clarity and insight. So what I'm saying is to some of you that don't meditate, um, you can get meditation in any form you uh, like. Um, and for those of you that do practice this, uh, you might be practicing this a lot this month um, because you may be getting such amazing um, epiphanies. And here we go. Understanding this is the card that dropped out. You may be getting some amazing clarity and understandings that you didn't have before. Epiphanies like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that before. But now that I know, now that I know this, this opens up a whole new world. This opens up a whole new awareness. This opens up a whole new solution for something. Um, so this is really good for some of you. And then the next card we have is conditioning. This is in the position of what, how you guys might be acting. All right. Or doing this month. And this is a pretty significant card. Um, when it comes to an awareness, which is in, in um, really match well with these cards, um, in the sense that these cards are an understanding and awareness and, um, you know, a clarity and seeking answers. And this is all about identity, knowing who you really are, seeing yourself for the truth of, of who you are, meaning maybe you thought you were one way, but you realize your authentic self, or maybe you were acting a certain way or used to do something a certain way or used to hang around a certain type of pe per per person or used, used to look at yourself as, as a certain type of person or a certain type of being. And now you're realizing, wow, I am truly somebody I didn't think I was. And this is a good thing though, you guys, this is a, a, an amazing thing because this lion and the sheep is, um, they're all sheep and there's a lion and this lion was, um, is the only lion and they're all other sheeps. This lion is not eating the sheep or attacking them, the sheep, because this lion thinks it's a sheep. It grew up with those sheep and it doesn't know any better. It thinks it's a sheep. So you guys are going to be finding yourself in a new, maybe acting in new ways around people and in situations. You might be discovering that, um, you know, you're a very strong person and that you're, you know, secure with who you are and you might fi find a lot of meaning the next card we have is slowing down. So this is in the position of how you really feel. You guys might be feeling a little sluggish. You might be feeling like um, a time to take a vacation, time to take a break, time to, you know, maybe not make so many plans. Uh, maybe it's time to just kind of, um, you know, lessen your workload or lessen this calendar and take some time, um, some downtime this month just to really just enjoy and relax Maybe a lot of you are feeling like retiring or you might be feeling like um, working part time instead of full time now. Um, so this could be people that are planning re for retirement as well. But if it's not retirement, it could just be that um, maybe you're taking the summer off or taking the month off um, before you start some big project coming up um, or something. But it's, it's, it's a time where you're able and capable of slowing down right now. And the outcome we have is creativity. Oh, my gosh. So maybe that's why you're slowing down. Maybe you want to slow down, take some time off work or take some time off something because you want to be creative. You want to be in a beautiful, creative flow. You guys are having creativity and flow this month for May. Um, you guys might be thinking and feeling and doing creative things. You might be having, again, epiphanies, ideas, beautiful um, um, plans, uh, you know, ideas that come up in your head and that you might be making some new changes and plans. All right, so on to your other reading here. 
We have the Queen of Swords and she is in reverse. So we do have this energy for the month of May. There could be a person or you, or it could be this just an energy of somebody who's a little bit bitter, somebody who's a little bit angry, somebody who maybe didn't get their way um, in regards to something, and now they're a little bit um, cutthroat. They might be a little bit, um, this could be a male or female because it's a general reading, but um, if this is a person, it's, it's it could be, a, yeah, either or. And this could be just somebody who's been scorned, you know, upset, hurt, and now they're just um, kind of thinking of themselves. They don't want, they're not, they're so guarded now and they're thinking about themselves and they, they will, they're kind of blinded because they're upset. So they're kind of blinded by truth as well. But this is somebody who does still speak their truth, but, um, you know, they could be biased, meaning they could just be speaking part of the truth. Okay. This is somebody kind of who's a little bit selfish is what I'm saying. All right. So the main card we have, the main energy we have for you guys is the world in reverse. The world in reverse is here and it's the main energy stating that, um, we do have some kind of delay in some kind of new cycle that is about to end in your life or in, yes, in your life, there is a new cycle ending. It's getting ready to end and there's something, um, delaying. There's a little bit of a delay about that and postponement for some reason or another. Um, but you guys are getting ready to start a new cycle and I'm sorry, end, end a cycle in your life. Okay. So you can start something brand new. You're in the process of ending something. And the card, we, the card we have that's, um, crossing you or that could be a challenge this month, which doesn't look much to be of a challenge, but this is the, this is the nine of pentacles and this is a female or male. This is an independent person. Somebody, this could be you Taurus. Um, this is an earth sign. So, this is a female or male because it's general. And this is somebody who is very independent. They can stand on their own two feet. They can take care of themselves. Um, they're financially and emotionally stable and they can take care of their needs. Um, so this, it, it, um, this could be some kind of obstacle. I, I don't see it being an obstacle at all in your reading. I do see it being here for you. I think it's a wonderful card. It sounds like you guys are going to be very financially stable this, the month of May. You may be feeling secure within yourself. You may be feeling really confident. You may be feeling satisfied, um, stability wise, and you may be feeling really creative because financially somebody's very stable. They don't have, they're not worrying about money this month. They're maybe, um, this could have to do with, um, you know, now you might be receiving funds that uh, are starting to multiply this month and that is making you feel really stable, okay? Maybe that's why you're slowing down. Some of you are retiring, but some of you are just coming, coming to a point in your life this month where, you know, you're allowed to slow down because you have enough money and so this money is going to help you get through some time. Um, so let's go on here and see what else we have for you. In the recent past, we have the Six of Cups. So in the recent past, you have the past card. This is the past card anyway. So recently, it could be in the very beginning of this month of May because this video is late. So this could have already happened or it could be just happening uh, right now or right in the beginning of May. Um, you might be thinking about your past. You might be wishing and wanting and missing some, somebody from your past or some um, somebody from your past recently Maybe um, you maybe con were contacted by somebody from your recent past and it's making you feel, think of them now. But this is a great card. It's, it's a wonderful card of thinking about great thoughts about your past. So it could be a person or just, you know, really you were thinking about your past or you met up with somebody from your past. Um, what you guys have in front of you right now in this month of May is the Ten of Cups. Uh, I'm sorry, the Ten of uh, Pentacles in reverse. Um, this means to me that there is some kind of family situation that's not doing well. There may be something going on with the family. It could be your family, your extended family, your family. If you're in a relationship, it could be the relationship, your, your husband or boyfriend's family. If you're very close in a relationship, it could be either or. But Taurus, this has to do with family money. It has to do with... Um, Maybe there was some kind of financial loss, okay, uh, having to do with family. If this is a family business, um, maybe the family's in need of some funds or um, 
Maybe some, a family member recently lost some money. Um, it's possible that somebody is not doing well uh, health-wise within the family. Um, or you could be um, divorced or separated. Okay? And maybe that's what you're thinking about. Somebody, your relationship from the past. Some of you, that is the case. Some of you are thinking about uh, are, are in a separation, a legal separation, or in the, you know, maybe you guys are, are separating or separated, um, and you're thinking about selling the home. Um, and this could be possibly somebody from your past that has to do with that. How you guys are looking at your situation is the strength card. So you're really looking at the situation, Taurus, as if you really need strength. This could be a Leo, a Leo. There could be a Leo involved in your life, but most likely for most of you, this is having to do with, you're either coming to a point, you guys, this is, I believe you are feeling the strength. You're feeling very strong, um, emotionally, physically, um, in every way, you're feeling very solid, stable with your emotions. You're feeling very secure with yourself. You're feeling and looking good. And this is probably you. A lot of you, this is you, this, 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 uh, knight of nine of pentacles. Um, this is somebody who's very, very strong. They're very, very strong. They, they have, they're in control of their finances. This person is in control and independent of their emotions. Um, so you guys are looking at your situation as if you're very strong right now, emotionally and financially. And even if you did or have had a breakup, for those of you that are in or separated or in a breakup right now or having a divorce or selling your home, it doesn't matter. You're feeling very, very strong and independent financially and emotionally and that you're really ready to end this cycle in your life. You're ready to put this marriage or this family situation behind you. And you already know that you're going to be starting a brand new cycle in your life. So it's already in the middle of being, it's already ending this family situation or this divorce or this home situation. Maybe this is the month that you're, you're getting paid. Um, you know, you're, you're finding a new home to move into. You sold, you're selling that one and you're moving into, uh, you're upgrading to a new home or you're getting a new home. It doesn't have to be upgraded into a bigger one. It could be a smaller one or just the same size, but either way, you feel very safe and secure there. And you don't feel like you have to have your family. You don't feel like you have to be in a relationship right now. You're really being secure. And, and this is such an empowerment card. Uh, I just love it. So a lot of you are feeling very, very good in your life right now. And this is the, we have the four of swords in the position of hopes and not, not hopes. I'm sorry. This is what it is that you're looking to have right now in your life. You're hoping and wanting right now. This is the position of what you want. So it looks like you guys might be a little bit overwhelmed. Maybe you're um, overwhelmed in, in some way, shape, or form, and you're really needing to um, get some peace in your mind. Maybe you need a vacation. This is saying you need to take some time off. So a lot of you guys, I, I really believe, are, are wanting to plan a trip, or you guys are wanting to plan a trip to get away from this maybe family situation. Um you know, maybe this is being dragged, something's being dragged on maybe a little bit longer than you hope for, or you're just now waiting to take this trip. Um, a lot of you guys are working on your health, physical health. You're maybe, um, you know, planning to do some kind of, um, health diet or workout plan. So a lot of you guys are wanting to improve your health. Um, a lot of you guys are going to be doing that this month. You might be starting to work out or starting a new, um, way of being fine, uh, physically so you can have a little bit more energy in your life uh, because maybe you're, you've been overworked. I see, do see something here about being overworked. Maybe this family situation or, or sell this property or the marriage or whatever this breakup was or, you know, it's caused you a lot of um, to be busy. So a lot of you guys do are hoping for really some time to take out um, and, and take a break. Cause, and, and that's so true, you guys. It's very, very important to do that. So for the ones that are feeling overwhelmed and um, in need of some, just some peace. That's the word. How about that, guys? Some of you guys just want some peace and quiet. <laughs> Maybe you don't, you're not working on a health plan because most Tauruses are really, really in good shape. But I'm just saying, maybe some of you guys just want some peace and quiet. Maybe you just want to be alone, independent and free. So 
Okay, so you guys, somebody's got to make a decision this month. This month of May, there is a lot of confusion going on about something, and somebody needs some clarity. They need to, um, I gotta take a sip, sorry. There is some kind of clarity needed. There's some kind of uh, decision that needs to be make, made by you or somebody else. Um, and this person has no idea what, what decision to make. They don't know how to make a decision. Maybe they don't have the, it's okay. You know, it's not, you know, this could be causing you a little bit of need. Maybe this is why you guys are wanting some peace of mind because you are tired of going back and forth, ruminating over and over. Which way should I go? What, what decision should I make? What should I do? What should I do? I don't know what to do. If I do this, I, that'll, you know, you might be going, if I do this decision, it won't work out. If I do that decision, it won't, won't work out. So a lot of you guys really need some clarity on your decisions. Okay. And you might be stressed, stressing yourself out over that. And I do know how that feels, by the way. Um, that's not a good feeling as you guys, most of you guys have been in that situation. Uh, we all have, it's just not a great, uh, feeling. Um, and so that is why it is very important to take some time out for yourself, guys. I, I can't stress it enough. It's very important for some of you to take some time away so you can get peace of mind. When you get that peace of mind, sometimes the clarity comes. Most of the time it comes. And if it doesn't come, your angels, uh, they will show you the way. Because I do see you guys are transforming. I think you're, I see that you guys are, some of you guys are, were conditioned a certain way, maybe within your family, okay? Maybe your parents um, conditioned you to be a certain way or told you you were this way, you were this way, you have to be this way. Um, maybe your relationship, uh, molded you in a way that really wasn't you, who you were. So I think you might, a lot of you guys are transforming. You're ending a cycle of who you, a shedding, a, a, a cycle of who you once were, uh, or a way, something having to do with the way you guys, tr uh, behaved, the way you guys acted, the way you guys lived your life. Um, you guys have, are coming, you're changing, you're drastically making changes. All right. So anybody around you, environment, uh, people, uh, family members, work relationships, we have the three of pentacles and reversed. So there might be some kind of, um, group of people, three people, two people, um, that are not getting along financially at work or in a project or in a situation. If this is family members, you guys are, there's some kind of upset. There's some kind of um, disharmony within a project. If you're working in a trust with attorneys dealing with family members, um, you're not getting along with them. Things are not going very harmoniously. Maybe some people are wanting their way uh, more than, you know, some people are acting different uh, in different. Um, maybe they're not noticing the work that you've put into the family and they are not appreciating you or vice versa, but somebody's not being appreciated at, in a work in a project having to do with family. Most likely this is your family situation. And this could also be, um, yeah, family work. Um, but this is your environment around you. It's, they're not, you know, I see you guys are very, very strong and solid, but the family people around you, you know, there's something going on with that. Um, that's not, they're not doing that well. They're not working very well with the program or the project. Okay. Or maybe with you, they're not, they're kind of going against it. It looks like maybe the next card we have is the high priestess. She's in your hopes and fear section. So you guys are really hoping for clarity. Again, we want, you're hoping for answers. You're hoping for guidance. You're hoping for clarity. You're hoping for, um, higher wisdom. Um, you might be seeking help from a psychic or a, counselor or somebody that you know that's spiritual um that can maybe help you make the decisions or get the clarity you need but you guys can really you guys are the only ones really that can make your own decision but it is always good sometimes to um you know it's good for you to tap in get your take, go into your own get some rest take get some peace and you will get the answers um so a lot of you guys are really hoping for that Oh, and so we have the outcome, a beautiful outcome. And this is the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups. It could be a male or female. It's a It could be a water sign as well, or somebody with water in their chart. Or it just could be the energy. This is a beautiful energy of an open heart. This is somebody who wants to offer and give, them, give of themselves. They have um, an open heart, and they want to um, share, that, share that with somebody else. So... Whether that be you guys wanting to start 
and open your heart now. Maybe, maybe your heart was uh, closed before. Maybe it was this family situation. It looks like you're opening your heart again or somebody's coming in to open their heart to you. Maybe they're offering you some, some emotional um, comfort or emotional um, friendship or even love. It could be love as well. Somebody might be really care, care about you a lot and they want to um, come in and um, help you or just be share, share in your life and open their heart with you. So um, you guys have an offer and a decision this month to make, and you guys have the strength. Um, the only warning we have, and the only card, you know, I see here, well, I do see several, but, you know, this person, um, this queen of swords could be the family member. Um, it could be, you know, having to do with this out, your outer environment, um, because there is some kind of, uh, this needs to be worked on this month of May. This is going to be, you're going to be working on this to try to cl close this chapter in your life because, um, you're not really, I don't see any heartbreak over this, um, disruption within the family. All I see is transformation. I see, I see you transforming into a new identity. You guys might change everything about yourselves by the end of this month or year. You guys might be transformed into a new person. Um, I do see that you're, 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 you're again, this is a, the end of a, this is the end of a relationship, a family member. Um, but I don't, again, I don't see you heartbroken about it or just, you know, that upset about it. I just see you really becoming and evolving into a beautiful uh, new person and it's turning into creativity and, um, you know, this Knight of cups, you guys might be, ret be retiring, you know, you might've left the home. For, for the young ones watching that used to live in their family, they may be moving out of their family's home.